So let's talk, let's move forward and talk a little bit about business strategies for dealers themselves. We talked a little bit about newer dealers um, and a little bit of the, the lower price stock, but uh, something that was mentioned, I think Nick, you mentioned earlier is the, the layoff aspect. So, you know, if you're not selling as many units right now, what are you doing with your employees? Any extra employees? What's happening at the moment? On the dealership side, I think you're going to see a lot of people start laying people off just because everything is at 50%. Um, I guess the newer you are, the harder it's going to hurt. Uh, you know, like Shane and I, we have 20 plus years of cushion there in the checkbook. So um, I, I think you're, you're going to see it more so in the younger dealerships. Shane, would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. No, we. Uh... You know, we, we are holding tight. You, you obviously want to, your your staff is your family, and that's what you want to do is make sure that you take care of them the best you can. And obviously, you know, when things slow down, like the last couple of quarters have, we're, we're riding it out right now where a lot of companies, they, they don't have the, the income to be able to do that. Um, and eventually, obviously, you, you have to slowly obviously cut down if, if things consist, but uh, it's the smaller companies, like Nick said, is, is going to have to uh, take a little bit harder hit that, that don't have that extra cushion uh, that's just the reality. That's the reality of anything in business. So, no. Nick, you brought up the idea of, of getting dealers to hold pricing through Q1 and Q2. That way everyone can work their way out of the high price inventory um, without significant financial hardships. What do you what do you think there is uh, that can be done on that front? That's a tall, tall order. I mean, everybody's got to stay united. It's... It doesn't help anybody if you just uh, sell your inventory right now at a loss. You got to figure out a way to average it and work your way out of it. Shane, any comment? Agreed. I think it's just putting smaller discounts on stuff right now. And that's the one thing. So you still got to be profitable. I know there's a lot of, um, most dealers have, have a big enough cushion right now with the way things have been uh, because prices have been so, um, rapidly changing through so us we have exchange rate plus we have obviously the surcharges and uh like all dealers uh they don't when they order a product they have no idea when the actual product will arrive or what the price will be and that's the thing that's always been frustrating that um has never happened before in you know our history there uh, prior to this that when manufacturers always stuck by their po's and their purchase orders there for that so they've always stuck by that price but now when you order a trailer in the last 24 months you had no idea what it was going to cost or when it would actually come in there. Now at least things have kind of turned back around. They are honoring the purchase orders like they used to. Um, and you have pretty accurate lead times now for the most part there for that. So I would say, you know, discounting inventory, I think you definitely need to discount it. You have a cushion to discount it there because of the fact that you, you know, maybe instead of, you know, 25, 30 points you're putting on your trailer, you go down to 20 points, but making sure that you're still making money because otherwise as soon as you start getting, um, people are going to get, obviously get scared. There's no question. People are already there. And it, like Nick said, if you, if you just start selling at a loss and it's just going to hurt everyone because once, you know, John sells at, you know what I mean? This amount, then the next guy, Peter's going to follow the same and then everyone has to follow suit there and it just hurts the whole industry. And that's the thing that you can't, you can't do. And um, it, it's going to be affected. And unfortunately, there's going to be the smaller guys that will, will do this. That, uh, and that's why hopefully if people are listening to this and paying attention, it's like understanding, listen, yeah, throw some discounts on a few hundred dollars off as a coupon or discount there for a monthly sale to drink, bring in some more business there. But if everyone's kind of following that same idea where it's just knocking a few hundred dollars off at their, their, their standardized pricing, we're all still making money at the end of the day and can get through this. But if, if you're going to, you know, take your shirt off completely and just expose everything, then it's it's going to hurt everybody because it just, it, it's, it's, it won't work. And that's what's going to put our whole industry into a recession there ourselves by our, our own selves by doing that, so. I think our industry needs to mirror the automotive industry. I mean, everybody's holding that MSRP, you know. Some bigger dealerships can get a lot more inventory than others. They're they're not selling it cheaper. Everybody's holding their prices, and I, I think that that's what we have to get through everybody's head. You know, to stay united to work our way out of this. Interesting thoughts. Interesting thoughts. I so I want to you know 
try not to to keep it all uh try to end on a little bit of a positive note here and i want to talk about maybe perfect scenarios for 2023 and shane i'm going to kick it off with you because i know you mentioned a little bit of maybe a rebate program things like that mm. in a perfect scenario what does 2024 look like in your opinion um of what you hope it could be so for for next year starting off manufacturers um they understand they they, they and it might be a case by case issue. It might not be across the board, but they, you know, because there's dealers like Nick and I that have larger inventories where they have they need to work with to be able to obviously get through this to sustain our relationships and uh, and be able to obviously deal with larger volume dealers compared to the guy that only has ten trailers in his lot, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it may be a case by case issue, but um, dealing with the, the, the each dealership, figure out uh, a package where they can still be able to both both companies make money. So some of the manufacturers already started this, which I've talked to uh, Nick kind of about already. Unfortunately, none of mine have, have offered this yet out of all the suppliers, the 14 I deal with, but um, uh, figure out, hey, when you sell this product, if you you know reorder another trailer in, we'll be able to allocate this discount there. So that way you can, you know, you can provide right now to your consumer a larger discount to move that inventory. You reorder inventory, obviously, from this manufacturer, which then they rebate that trailer or, 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 or so in that kind of range there for it. So that's the best circumstances there. Creates a flow of cash flow for everybody. No one's making the exact profit margin they want, would like, but everyone's still making a profit. And um, that continues on that way. And it, it, it the surcharges uh, start to diminish from 50, let's say 50% down to, you know, 30 30 to 25 percent in that range no nothing's ever going to go back to where it was it, it's impossible yeah. it's just it, it's physically impossible with uh, just the labor rates now in general alone but everything else so it's not like it's ever going to come back to where it was before 2019 but it definitely needs to come down a, a, a healthy 25 percent minimum just to be able to start seeing uh and noticing a difference in not only the, the quality and control needs to get better obviously the q a but the, the pricing so that's where that's the, the absolute I, I feel that if they get control of that which i feel the manufacturers the quality will get better based on the fact that they're laying off people right now so they're laying off the dead weight that they had to hire obviously back in um right at the, the thriving point of the pandemic there and they they hired a lot of people obviously that weren't qualified to to fulfill the positions just because they needed some bodies in there just to do stuff like just to be able to build the product and um and so all the industries now are between rvs which they would obviously capitalize on all the qualified uh, employees from the trail industry because they can pay more than for it. Those guys are now laid off. So they're now back, a lot of them are back to the same plants they were before prior, at least with the manufacturers I deal with. So you're getting that, um, the quality is, is, is slowly getting better. It's not to where it needs to be. And then, so that is positive. And then on top of that, is, as long as the, the pricing uh, levels off and they kind of come, they, they play ball with us. What is that? If they play ball with us, then, and I feel like next year is not going to be as uh, hard of a year as we're all expecting. So, Nick, how about you? Perfect scenario, 2023. What do you hope happens? Perfect scenario. I think you're going to see the larger manufacturers offer, offer rebates from now till about quarter three. Um, and I think by the end of next year, we have to have uh, the surcharges down another 25%. And uh, like Shane was saying, some of these manufacturers are literally hiring people working at the drive-in, drive-throughs, Pizza Hut. So hopefully they take this um, where they downsize their staff and keep the good qual qualified people and and move forward on a better note. And anytime we can get the, that quality trailer or the quality of the trailers built back up, it's always going to be a good thing. Um, so. Un unfortunate circumstances, but hopefully something good comes out of that aspect. Well, I appreciate you two hopping on uh, the call with me. I look forward to maybe a few more of these um, kind of industry updates. Uh, it's always enjoyable. Do you guys have anything else that we want to add into this conversation before we head out? Work together, as, as Nick said, that's what we got to do and pay attention to that. And uh, if, we, if we do that and Work together as in unity then we'll uh, get through this much easier if we don't and then it's just going to make it tougher for everybody so all right thank you both for hopping on uh, i appreciate it and i will see you guys later awesome yep. thanks, thanks. thanks.